गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल वीडियो को स्टार्ट करने से पहले वीडियो को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें फॉर दी टॉपिक बिहेवियर फाइनेंस यू मे रेफर दी बुक्स ऑफ प्रसन्ना चंद्रा एंड डॉक्टर एफ सी शर्मा इन आवर प्रजेंट वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर प्रीवियस टॉपिक दैट इज थीम्स ऑफ बिहेवियल फाइनेंस Under the themes of behavioral finance in our previous videos we have already discussed the first three themes that is the very first one heuristic driven biases second one frame dependence and third is emotional and social influences in our present video we will discuss the last theme of this topic that is market inefficiencies दो मैनी स्टडीज हैव अर्लियर प्रूवन दी प्रिवलेंस ऑफ मार्केट एफिशेंसी बट बिहेवियल फाइनेंस स्टेट्स दैट देयर इज अ डिस्क्रिपेंसी बिटवीन मार्केट प्राइस एंड इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू द मार्केट इन एफिशेंसी विल बी डिस्कस्ड अंडर द टॉपिक्स एज विजिबल ऑन योर स्क्रीन लाइक द वेरी फर्स्ट वन इज नॉइस ट्रेडिंग many investors trade on false signals or what we may call as noise and not on fundamentals as long as these investors trade randomly their trades cancel out and they are likely to have no impact on demand this happens to some extent because the market is crowded by noise traders However many of these noise traders suffer from similar judgmental biases while processing information like for example they are normally overconfident and assume more risk they chase trends they put lesser weight on base rates and more weight on new information and normally they follow market gurus and forecasts next we have the small firm effect the theory of the small firm effect maintains that investing in small firms those with low capitalization provide superior returns however the size effect raised doubts about the risk associated with the small firms the risk associated with them are underestimated and they do not trade as frequently as the large firms next under the market inefficiency we study about the low pe effect many studies have provided evidence that stocks with low price earning ratios yield higher returns than stocks with higher pe's this is known as the low pe effect next we have over reaction of the market many recent studies shows that market overreacts to corporate news if the corporate houses announces a reduction in earnings or a closure of a unit for example the market overreacts the price of the stock may decline after the initial decline it may make it may take several weeks for the stock price to reach the normal level during this period however the investor may buy stock when the price is low and sell it once the normal level is reached this strategy helps him to earn an abnormal return which goes against the efficient market hypothesis last we have views of experts while efficient market hypothesis states that market establishes the right price of equities the behavioral finance states that there is divergence between the fundamental value and the market prices and many experts have given their views in this regard like jm keynes manmohan singh john train c rangarajan etc so these all are parts of market efficiency with this topic we come to an end to our main topic that is themes of behavioral finance thank you